Hey guys, it's been a while since we've done one of these update videos. I think about 12 months, so we thought we'd uh, jump on behind the camera and uh, yeah, update you guys on what's been happening in the uh, Sparky life in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. Lots been happening, a lot of uh, stuff to share with you guys, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So since we've been back, we have both had full-time jobs, um, which has probably been a, a pretty good thing yeah. through COVID and all that. Um, Amy was working for another contractor and I kicked up the business again and um, did some work in that respect and everything's been going well in the, uh, the job front. So after three years of travel, it took a big toll on the bank account, uh, even to the point where we we're sinking into our emergency fund, which we were talking about in the budget video. If you haven't seen the budget video, go watch the podcast on the budget video. Um, but money was drying out and so we really had to stop and we had to work so There's nothing we could have done about it um, And yeah, like I said, it did work in our favor because we weren't able to travel Yeah, we were fortunate enough to get home get settled get a rental um, Both get jobs and then obviously as you guys know COVID kicked off. So yeah, yeah all right, so it's obviously been a year. We announced the last video that we had a new tow vehicle. The new tow vehicle is... What is it, Kurt? It's a Ford Ranger PX2 2015 model. 3.2 liter, six-speed automatic... Dual cab. Dual cab. Yep, so it's, it. <laughs> uh, we picked it up second-hand at um, some... An, an auction here in Brisbane. It is an X Fire. X Fire truck. X Fire truck. So it's an ex government vehicle. So full service history. Um, it came with a three month warranty. Just had, uh, as you can see, it just had a chassis, on, uh, open chassis on the back. Yep. Um, so yeah, so that's our new tow vehicle. We'll put some footage up so you can see it. We have taken it camping twice. Um, tows Coromel, beautiful. Yeah. So <laughs> with the nav tow and the caravan going up a hill, it would almost not make it. Whereas now the Ranger just pew, straight up the hill. So it's crazy the, the yeah. distant, the difference in power. And, and just the little luxuries, comfort. I think. Comfort, <laughs> comfy seats, we got electric windows. Yeah. Um, it's not so noisy. Yeah. And touching on the, because it was an X fire truck, it didn't actually go in fires. I think it was just like some CEO's fire truck car of some sort because it doesn't smell chassis in beautiful condition so I, it was just a, a run around i think so yeah we uh, came back we did our happy. research on what we sort of wanted kurt was sort of set on getting a ranger it sort of ticked all our boxes on what we wanted yep. um and then it did take us a while to find that one and get one in our price bracket yeah um so i think we attended maybe six auctions all up and then yeah happy days we obviously we got this one and yeah it's been going strong yeah. since it's a shame we haven't been able to do a reveal video because it would have been awesome to do that but it's just yeah we've just been too busy working um and yeah in between lockdowns in between else, lockdowns just, yeah yeah so we were, we were hoping to do like a whole episode and reveal it to you guys we've taken little snippets of it so yeah well, that's the new tow <laughs> vehicle well, i think yeah yeah that's it yeah Cool. Um, and as for future plans for it, obviously we're also just looking at trying to just build up into a touring rig. It was pretty stock standard, would you say? Yeah. When we bought it? <laughs> Very stock. Stock. So um, we're obviously looking at getting a custom canopy made for it. We'll get it. What else are you looking at doing? A, oh, lift, a lift kit. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just <laughs> turning it into a touring vehicle. Yeah. So. so the thing is with the nav, you could have upgraded it, but the thing was kind of falling to pieces. So And we knew its towing days were over. Yeah, so we couldn't really, we didn't want to spend any more money on the nav. So it, it's yeah. good with the Ranger because parts are readily available. You could even coil the back end if you wanted to. So I don't know, it just opens up a lot of the opportunities. So yeah, it was just time, it time to get a bit more modern. I mean, we mm. definitely didn't want anything too expensive. We're realist. Yeah. We like to stick in our budget. <laughs> yeah, we just like st sticking our budget. Oh. So you notice that we have started posting again. Um, just with, 
we're trying our hardest to get these bloody episodes out. Um, they take so long to edit, guys. Uh, they're not just a throw it in, job done, or else we'd have them done. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just be patient. The the episodes are quite old now. The um, latest Four, one was about... Forty years, probably 12 to 18 months old. Yeah. Um, we have our people asking, yes, it is our old travels. We're still trying to catch up, obviously. Like we've mentioned, we're in Brisbane. Yeah. And the next videos that are coming out, I think, uh, South Australia, Air Peninsula, around that area yeah so it is old content um we do try to say that in the episodes so yeah we, yeah we're trying to get on top of that content yeah and like because it's travel related not much changes in terms of like camping spots and scenery and stuff you know it's not like australia is just sunk into a hole and it doesn't exist anymore all the content is still relevant and the prices it might be up a little bit on campsites or some campsites have closed but it's still pretty pretty relevant. Yeah, and, still um, relevant. Yeah. So yeah, we want to thank the patrons and everyone else that's been uh, continuing to support us, been buying merch. Um, we've got new stubby coolers. Uh, we've got shuckers. We've got stickers that are on the website. And the stickers. There's got... a vinyl car sticker, 150 mil. Mm -hmm. So it looks, you know, it's quite big. <laughs> um, and the great thing about the merch is the vinyl stickers, Australian made and owned and operated. Stubby coolers are Australian made. Stubby coolers are from Mr. Stubby uh, in WA. Yep. Australian made and owned. So get your merch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the last 12 months we've just been working our butts off, saving money. Obviously we did try to organize some meetups last year. We spoke about we were gonna organize a meetup in Queensland and New South Wales, but since COVID kicked off, it's sort of just through like travel plans up in the air. We were hoping to go and do some other trips to the islands uh, again. Yeah, just unfortunately, just with COVID. So the last video, we were in our rental property. Uh, that served a good purpose of getting our um, sorting feet ourselves back out. in, sorting ourselves out. out. Yeah. Um, since then, a year moved on, and the interest rates at the moment for buying a house is ridiculously low at two percent. So we're like, well, we're stupid not buying a house at this moment in time. Um, because the interest rate is so low that we're on par with what a rental would cost us in terms of the interest rate and the rental. It was about even, so we're like, well, why are we renting when we could own a house? And we always said that we wanted a home base and we finally got it, so. Yeah, after working our butts off for 12 months, saving every penny, um, not only have we paid, paying off our new tow vehicle, which we showed you guys, yeah, we're, um, yeah, we've bought ourselves a house, so that's pretty cool. Woo and yep, Rusty's doing well. She's got a bigger backyard now, so she is a very happy little chicken. Mm -hmm. She's just sleeping at the moment, like she always does. Yep. Um, but we take her for walks every day, and she loves it. She yeah. loves going in the water. She's still doing very well. Yeah, fit and healthy. Good girl. And we also have two new additions cut. Yep, two little chickens, like actual chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and Polly. So yeah, during COVID, we got got we purchased some chickens. Yeah. I waited in line for half an hour with someone else because there was a massive shortage of chickens during COVID. Um, a lot of people might know that themselves. And um, yeah, waited in line for half an hour and picked myself up two little little chickens. And they've been laying. I've got to say, I've been loving fresh eggs. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, if we go again to travel, then... Plenty of people have put their hands up to look after the chickens. So yeah. They, yeah. They're We're already not... on automatic feeders and seeders, so they're pretty happy and content with themselves. So we've got a garden to maintain and all that now as well. So it's just a part of it. So I'm not too stressed on the, the chicken front. <laughs> and Rusty seems to get along with them. She hasn't tried to eat them, so that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, the chickens try and eat her. <laughs> So the Navara is still going. I don't know how. <laughs> don't know why it still wants to keep going, but it is. So I still use it as a daily driver for work and I have had zero issues. I don't know yet. It's crazy but how this much how where we've taken that thing and it is still rolling. Blows my mind. <laughs> so the Navara is still going well. We still have the Coromel. Um, Just goes to show general maintenance. Yeah. Helps. We still have the Coromel. Um, Kurt's parents have been using it a little bit. Last year, they dusted the cobwebs off and took it for a little travel. So that I was. was, was say, it was, it was about very tempting to sell it. 
the car- the everyone caravan. knows that if you were to buy a caravan <laughs> at the moment, it's worth a stupid amount of money. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we could sell it and like just get a lot of money on it, but we were just like, mm, yeah. nah. <laughs> no, but we do like the Coromil. Yeah. Um, and when we do have plans to give it a reno- uh, a slight renovation this year. Yeah. Just well, give it a bit of a. I was going to say back in lockdown, I redid all the underbody. Yeah. So the un- underbody and the chassis is all in you know brand new condition again. So yeah, so we've decided to keep the Coromel, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to give it a little uh, renovate. As sorry to give it a little renovation later this year. We need to put in some new appliances, and I think we're just going to paint the cupboards inside. Just give it a revamp. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worn down after three years living in it full time. So. Yeah, we still have the Coromel. Still have big plans for the Coromel. We're not getting rid of it. Uh, yeah. Not getting the new van or anything like that. Yeah, it should be 15 years old this, this year. Yeah. Uh, some people have been asking, are we married? No, we're not married yet. Uh, we were trying to plan the wedding sort of last year for this year. But COVID, we have uh, interstate and international guests. So it's sort of just been a bit too hard. So we sort of just put the... Uh, yeah, the wedding. Put a pin in it. Put the pin in it for the time being, just until border closures open up again and we've got a bit more consistency, so yeah. I don't see the rush. Mm, so yeah, we're not married yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what are our plans this year? Uh, it's just continuing to save money. Uh, we are hoping to really plan some smaller trips later in the year. I, I know we said that last year, but we're just fingers crossed they get on top of this COVID and border closures open up and we'll be able to plan some small trips later in the year it's not that but like even through our business our business was doing is doing and was doing extremely well to where i was booked out for weeks in advance so it's kind of silly not taking advantage of that and trying to build that cash back up so we can do things properly yeah well, like um, we said for the yeah. last 12 months we've sort of just been heads down butts up so yeah. just just saving and just getting back on top like yeah. like kurt touched on yeah because that's what we did the first round yeah we saved up a lot of money and then we went and did it properly and no regrets yeah so this is pretty much what we're doing now is just banking it all up and hitting it hard again mm-hmm. so patience it's coming <laughs> All right, guys, so to wrap it up, um, yeah, like we've said, last year didn't go to plan um, as such. This year is obviously all about working hard, saving money, and just trying to get back out there on the road and make some new content for you guys, new episodes. There's a big list of places that we want to go and cover and explore, so there's going to be new content coming. Thanks for tuning in to another update video. Hopefully it won't be another year till the next one. Hopefully we'll uh, get on top of that this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, bloody crazy. But yeah, um, stay tuned. The next big adventure is yet to come. All right. Thanks, guys.